Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about median. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, in the last lecture of our Biostat lecture series, we have talked about central tendency. And we have seen that central tendency could be measured by three ways mean, median, and mode. We have already talked about mean. Let's see what is median. So, median is the middle value of data set where the data is arranged in the ascending order or in the descending order. Let's see an example here. So, first we will see how to detect median for ungrouped data. So, in this example, find the median when the data set contains an odd number of values. So, 6, 3, 18, 16, 5, 9, 2, 11, 17, 1, 8. So, here we have total 11 values. That is an odd number, right? Let's find the solution now. So, first align the data in the ascending order or in the descending order. Here we are placing them in ascending order. That means 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 16, 17, 18. So, median is 8 here. Since there are 5 values above it like 9, 11, 16, 17 and 18 and 5 values below it like 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6. So, 8 is the middle value. Next, find the median when the data set contains an even number of values like 6, 3, 18, 16, 5, 2, 11, 17, 1 and 8. Here we have total 10 values. That means even number, right? So again, align the data in the ascending order or descending order. I am aligning them here in ascending order like 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16, 17 and 18. So two middle values are present in the above data set. 6 and 8. That means there are four values above them like 11, 16, 17 and 18 and four values below them like 1, 2, 3 and 5. Now find out the mean value for these two numbers. That is 6 plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 14 by 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, median is 7 for the above data set. Now let's see how we can detect median for grouped data. So in this example, find the median for the following data. So in this row, we have classes and in this row, we have frequency of each class. Let's find the solution now. So, first we will calculate cumulative frequency. Now, please observe this carefully. Here, cumulative frequency and frequency are same for the first value. Since this is the first data in this table. Next, for this class, we have to add this frequency and the cumulative frequency of the preceding class. That is 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Again, for this class, 
we have to add this frequency and this cumulative frequency of the preceding class. That means 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. In this way, we can calculate cumulative frequency of all classes. Then we will calculate summation of fi that is summation of the frequency by adding all these values. This is also called n that is total frequency and when we add all these frequencies we will get the number 56. So this is the formula to find out median. Here, median class is 40 to 50. Why? So, this is the median class. Since three classes are present above it, this one, this one, and this one, and three classes are present below it, this one, this one, and this one. Therefore, 40 to 50 is the median class and L is the lower limit of median class that is 40. F is the cumulative frequency preceding the median class that is 12. So we can find it from this data. This 12 is the cumulative frequency preceding the median class right n by 2 is equal to 56 by 2 that is 28 because we know that n is equal to 56 we have already calculated f is equal to frequency of median class that is 8 so we can get it from this data frequency is 8 for the median class and 8 is equal to class width that is 50 minus 40 is equal to 10. Hence, if we put all these values in this formula, we can find the median. So, we have put all the values in the formula and the median is 56.